Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. I'm Joey McWilliams. It's a privilege to be joined on the summit today by Coach Drew Stutz from Freed Hardeman. And the Lions are 11-2, and two, but let's go ahead and stay with the big news. I don't want to bury the lead, Coach. A huge win last night over the number two team in the country. 88-59, the victory over Thomas Moore at home. Let's just go ahead and start right there. Obviously, a win is a win, but that one had to be a big one. It was. Uh, it was for us. You know, we've been playing well lately, but Thomas Moore, um, you know, they've kind of been the standard here for the last year and a half in the Mid-South, went to the Final Four last year, had the Player of the Year last year. Uh, they've got a great program. Coach Justin Ray does a phenomenal job. Uh, and so, you know, this game was a chance for us to really measure up and see how we how we stood against one of the best, you know, teams in the nation. And uh, we played really well last night. So really good team effort, defended the ball really well, shared the ball really well, had I think seven players in double figures last night. So uh, it was exciting for our program and exciting for our guys. Well, congratulations on that win. I mentioned 11-2 on the season, 8-0 and in Mid-South play. That's a pretty big deal. The win streak is up to 10 now. And You talk about all those players in double figures. Led last night by a freshman, Jaquan Lax. He had 15 points, 5 rebounds, and 4 steals. Yeah, Quan played really well last night. Um, now, he's probably, to be honest with you, he's probably one of our best tone setters on defense. Uh, really does a great job pressuring the ball. Uh, as a point guard for us, um, but was here last year as a red shirt. Knew he was going to be a really good player for us coming into the season. We were replacing a couple of really good combo guards from last year. And I know some people on the outside were a little concerned with replacing those guys, but uh, between Jaquan and then we have another freshman, JJ Wheat, between those two guys, they both played extremely well. Uh, really good defenders, really good offensive players, well rounded guys. And uh, Quan played played super well last night and hit some shots, really got into their point guard and disrupted them a little bit. But uh, happy for him. He's a guy that works hard and is a high-character guy. Finished this semester with a 4-0 as well. So uh, he, he's one of those freshmen you're excited to build around. That sounds like a great start to a great career, both athletically and academically for him. Balanced scoring has been, though, the motto all season long. You're hitting right about 51.5% from the field as a team, which is – Pretty good in and of itself, but a number of players right there in the mix, led by Riley McLaren, 12.2 points per game. Hunter Skurlock, 11.6 points per game. He's also your leading rebounder at 5.4 boards. Yeah, we're uh, you know we're we're a good team. Um, there's not really any guy on our team that we have to rely on night in and night out to go score 20 points. I don't know that we're going to get many player of the year awards, but um, I mean, we, we've got a, a very deep team. I mean, we've got eight or 10 guys that on any given night could go for 15 to 20 points. I think right now, average wise, we got seven guys that are between like nine and 12 points a game. So, you know, we just, we just emphasize team play and unselfish play and letting um, just letting the ball do the talking, you know, instead of one guy really relying on those guys, just get that ball moving, play together. Uh, and these guys, I mean, they are, they're unselfish. They're not concerned about who's, who's scoring, who's not scoring. And uh, priority number one is figuring out a way to win the game. And uh, so it's really fun to coach that brand. It's really fun to, to watch us play, I think, because you just never know on any given night who's going to score the ball. Uh, you mentioned Riley McLaren. He was, Mid-South Conference Player of the Week last week, you know, averaged over 20 points a game in two games last week. And at halftime, you look at the stat sheet, we're up by, I think, 14 or 16 points, and he doesn't have a single point. And so it just speaks to the depth of our team and ability to score in multiple ways. We're speaking with Drew Stutz here on the Summit on Midwest Sportsnet, and I encourage you, please take the time, like the video, share the video, and, and we would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. Coach, the, the Lions, as I mentioned, 11-2 and two overall, 8-0 and oh in Mid-South play. That's a big deal in and of itself. Ten consecutive wins, but you're all alone at the top of the conference standings right now, which also is pretty big. Number 19 in the country in the most recent NAI rankings, and that's a jump up from not ranked and actually not even receiving votes, so that was a pretty big leap. You, you got some people's attention, that's for sure, in, in recent weeks. Coach, your fourth season in the program, I know that you all made an appearance in the NAI tournament last year. What's your assessment right now in year four? Uh, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. You know, I, there's been a lot of effort, a lot of work put into um, building the culture and the program that we have right now. Um, you know, I know everyone says year four with COVID, I almost feel like it's year three 
because uh, I, I agree. <laughs> those two years kind of butted up back to back, but uh, really feel like it's it's my third year. And you know, for the people that don't know, took over a struggling program and uh, really tried to try to turn things quickly. But I feel like this is the the first year where I've really got all of my own players, um, and we've had some really good players here in the past. But uh, this team right here is just a team that's that's really together. Um, you know, one of the things we really focus on a lot is our culture, uh, the character of who we recruit, who we bring in. And uh, I really feel like this team is just a team that fits. Um, we play hard. We play together. We're pretty tough. We're unselfish. Um, but, you know, the other thing is, I guess, that I should mention is just how young we are. You know, we've got about 10 guys or so, 11 guys that are in the rotation and, eight of those 11 guys are underclassmen, either freshmen or sophomores on the floor. So just as we're building the program um, to be a contender for championships, it's really exciting to know you got a lot of young pieces out there and, and having some success. Um, you know, we recognize we're, we're halfway through the year. So, you know, we haven't arrived in any way. It's great to be sitting at the top of the Mid-South, but, um, you know, we, we've got a team that's coming in here tomorrow that's, not one of the top teams in the mid south, but I'm telling you, everybody, every game can beat you in the mid south. Uh, I, I know people probably get tired of hearing you, but hearing that. But if you turn on film and you watch, um, it's a really deep league, and so we're we're happy with where we're at right now. But we're definitely just taking things one game at a time, and uh, just going to you know stay head down and just work. Coach, I'll give you a chance to mention that game then as you are you just finished the first of three home games there in the Brewer Sports Center to close out 2022, the win last night. You take on Wilberforce tomorrow. That's a 3 p.m. start. And you, you just mentioned that contest should be a tough one. Then close out the year on Friday, December 30th. That's also at home against Point. 2023 opens up, and it doesn't get any easier from there. On the road twice at Cumberland's on January 5th and at Georgetown on the 7th. So I, I hope I didn't make it difficult for you to enjoy Christmas thinking about the upcoming part of the schedule. No, we're just going to take it one game at a time. You know, you, you every once in a while glance at the schedule and kind of see who you've got coming up. But right now our focus is Wilberforce. Uh, as far as conference play goes, Kermans, Kentucky and, and Georgetown are both cream of the crop programs. Uh, both really well coached. Both have multiple division one transfers that can really play. They will present their own problems when we get to those games. But, um, you know, we're, we're locked in on Wilberforce right now, and then we'll take a little break and come back and get ready for point. So, um, you know, we want to enjoy the success we're having for a certain period of time, but we got practice here in about two hours, and uh, we've enjoyed Thomas Moore for, for 12 or 16 hours, and it's on to the next one. I understand. Well, Coach, do enjoy it while you can, but uh, it looks like it's 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 a good season to this point, and we look forward to continuing to follow you. Coach Drew Stutz from Freed Hardeman, thank you so much for taking time with us here on the Summit today. God bless you, and Merry Christmas, and we just appreciate having you on. I appreciate you having us. Thanks so much.